What's up, Sushi Squad? We are back in Motorola, and today we're going to be talking about Luxian. Yes, we're going to take a bit of a break, a bit of a back seat for the new update that is on the test server. Uh, I do have the patch notes video recorded for you guys from uh, you know the test server, so I'll have that video come out for you guys tomorrow. Uh, today we're going to end up doing your boy Luxian. So let's see if he's actually got any decent items. Mm, yeah, I don't know. They're not bad. They're not great. It's a pretty lackluster setup. So I'm going to show you guys what all of these are. Uh, leave my feedback whether or not I think some of these are worth actually getting. But let me let me actually swap over to a different class. Oh, God, I don't have my mod on. Right. Because I needed to access the store on the test server. So the Tranquil Tentacle this is going to end up being a very basic event ally uh, that gives three maximum energy, 15 uh, energy regen, and that's basically all there is to it. Uh, is it going to end up being worth selling on the market? It shouldn't be, but people are still selling it for a lot, as if anyone's going to buy it. I don't think so. Where's my little ally? Oh, I don't have an ally equipped. There we go. So that's all it is. It doesn't give it good stats and the only reason i could even f comprehend people trying to sell this is just because it is from an old event which does mean that it is very difficult to get for mastery but it doesn't give much mastery so again i would not recommend buying it and trying to sell it maybe people are crazy and maybe people will actually end up buying it but i don't think so man and then there's the SS Trovian. So the weird thing is that we've talked about this before. Luxian doesn't actually give you sales, usually, anyways, when you end up buying a boat, which is kind of disappointing because this normally comes with a Trovian sale. So there's going to end up being this boat right here. Ignore the rib cage that's from one of the other uh, sales or packs that we got before. Um, but I don't know. I mean, this is pretty good for a boat as far as I'm concerned, just because it's got decent control. Not great control. We are talking about Trove boats, which are some of the worst boat controls I've seen in a video game but I mean hey at least it's there right uh, and then there's going to be Sa Sabader I don't really know why they're selling this guy right now so this used to be a promo item that you would get for free which means it's probably going to end up being quite expensive on the market or apparently nobody's going to sell it Okay, there we go. Weird. Uh, but yeah, 600 coins or dragon or blah, blah, 600k flux. I think that's kind of worth its price just because of the dragon coin price here. Uh, I think it's weird that Lexian's selling a summer themed mount when there are winter themed versions of this. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, this guy's even got, like, a towel. He's got, like, stuff for going to the beach and everything. And it's just, it's a cool mount by all means. It's just kind of weird that... Like, even his jump has, like, sand. <laughs> and Luxian doesn't seem to know what season it is. I mean, it makes sense. He's living in a hole, right? So, come on. Uh, and then there's going to be the Racing Raptor. This, on the other hand, it might seem plain, but I think this is probably going to be the most expensive. Yeah. So, this is going to end up being the most expensive because this actually was... Uh, it, it was an item that used to be in the cash shop. And then they moved it out of the cash shop and now it's just in Luxian store. I, I'm pretty sure it's not in the cash shop anymore. Uh, but this was an item that was in the game when I first started uh, so many years ago. Because I remember it was one of the first uh, mounts that I ended up getting either with cubits or something like that. It just, yeah. But it's really cool, man. I, I have a lot of nostalgia for this bad boy. Generally, it's not going to end up being super duper impressive or anything. Is that my word of the day, generally speaking? Because I always end up having one like sentence or phrase that I seem to repeat over and over and over again in my videos that I don't I don't realize I'm doing it. Like I am not aware. It's just when you're commentating and trying to share information, normally there would be like a lot of pauses. And so you kind of have these phrases that you rely on to fill the silence kind of thing nobody asked but luxian did so be quiet uh and then there's gonna be the abyss assailant so this guy is going to end up being another old event item it's not tradable though you can see once you end up owning it you own it forever but it's just going to end up being a abyss themed turtle i love his face he looks adorably stupid um it is going to operate the same as a boat i guess that water's not deep enough but it is a turtle mount or does it work as a boat no, it doesn't. This is probably one of the mounts that they forgot to add the turtle functionality to. That's kind of odd. 
Huh. I think I uh, said the same thing when the event version of this was out as well. But I mean, either way, okay, this thing's a couple years old, so you'll want to grab it just for the sheer mastery of it all. Uh, and then there's the Lexian equipment styles. So when you go to the style section, you know, there's hats and weapons and so on and so forth, and there's all these different categories. So the Lexian equipment style uh, is going to end up unlocking a random seasonal event pinata or Lexian equipment style in each of those specific uh, categories. I'm surprised that there is bots back in the hub again. This is not something that you see very often. Like usually they haven't been here anymore, but okay, whatever. Uh, anyways, they're distracting me. So that's gonna be the Lexian equipment style. Then there's gonna be 10 meta matter, one each for 25 dragon coins. That's brutal. Uh, but if you want that geode mastery, you are going to need the meta matter. Frankly speaking, there are better methods of getting meta matter than 25 dragon coins each. This, in my opinion, is another one of those typical Luxian prices where you go, oh, developers, you think this is valuable, but it's not, you know, like meta matter is an important resource for the game, but dragon coins are so much harder to get. So it's just I don't know. It's like if you got tons of dragon coins, then go for it, obviously. And then there's going to be the golden horde dragon soul. So this actually gets you a couple different things. You'll end up getting uh, this, all these different dragon badges. So that's a lot of mastery you can see. And you get a bunch of different items out of it. A Golden Horde Dragonling is actually a really, really good starting ally if you want to go for that. There's going to be the Cookie Cutter Dragon with no wings. There's going to be a bunch of uh, styles and radiant styles and so on and so forth. The stats of the dragon, which are, you know, they're not bad. They're not great, but the crit damage increase is pretty nice. Uh, and then the full on maxed out dragon. So I'll show you guys the fully maxed out Luxian dragon rather than showing you all of the variations of him just because it's kind of annoying to go through all of them uh, but it's going to be this guy right here so this is going to be the variation of the dragon that has an impressive wingspan and can actually fly around uh, and then you can also end up shooting fireballs the only other difference with the other dragons is one of them doesn't fly one of them does fly but it doesn't shoot fireballs and the one and so forth you guys know how it is now as mentioned i will end up having uh, another video come out tomorrow that's going to talk in a little bit more detail with the new update which is going to take place in that building primarily uh, but otherwise you can end up always checking out my brief summary talking about the update it's going to be adding skill trees it's a whole thing uh, and then it's going to re uh, overhaul fishing that nobody asked for but whatever uh, but i am going you know i do have a live stream as well where i kind of deep dived into it and I do have timestamps in that live stream to make it a little more bearable for you guys, you know? Yeah. And then otherwise, I do have a lot of other videos that I'm cooking in the boiler, but I was not really expecting this update to hit on the test server. So obviously that takes precedence. And you know that I'm going to try and prioritize uh, getting smaller quantized videos for you guys to end up talking about all this stuff. But anyways, I'm hungry. I want to go eat. Smash like stuff for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel and have a wonderful day, everybody.